Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to be learning about something called a callout title. If you're working on a video and you want to draw special attention to something, maybe something like an item or a product or something else, callout titles are a great way to highlight it in a way that's both impressive and professional. But here's the best part. Motion Array has templates that you can do this with all inside of Premiere. No After Effects necessary. Are you excited? So am I. So let's get started and let's learn about callout titles. Working with callout titles inside of Premiere Pro is a very simple process when you're working with the template. Open up Premiere Pro and you can actually drag and drop the template file into your existing project. Find your template file and drag it in. When you import a Premiere project into another Premiere project, you'll find this box pops up. I find it's easiest to import the entire project and to import it into its own folder. Click OK and the template folders will be imported into your project manager. Click the arrow here beside your folder to open it up. Now you should see a variety of different options. This will vary from template to template, but let's go over the example we have in front of us. We have a replace media folder, a final folder, and an other folder. Each of these handles different parts of the template, but let's take a look through the final folder to start with. When you drop down the final folder, you should see something similar to preview all. If you double click on the sequence, you can see all of the different callouts that are a part of this pack in a nice presentation. This is useful in case there's a particular one that stands out to you and you can take a note of which number it is and go to it directly. For example, let's say that we like number five. So where do you find it to use in your video? Go back to your final folder and then go to all callout and look at the number you selected earlier. From here, you can drag and drop it into your project. Now you have a callout title in your video. Keep in mind, this is a clip within your timeline, but it's also a nested sequence with all sorts of hidden assets inside of it, available to explore by double clicking. This looks like a good start, but there's a few things missing. It's not positioned in the right place, and it doesn't have the correct text. And in our case for this pack, there's a space for a picture that's left blank. Let's deal with each of those in order. To position your callout is easy. Click on the clip in your timeline and go to Effect Controls. From here you can position it like any other clip that you'd work with. Move it around with the position sliders until you find the right spot where you want it to be. Once you've moved it, the callout will maintain its normal animation in the new spot that you've chosen. Next, the words just still say your text here. We want to customize it for our video. Take a quick note of what number your clip is, and then go to the Replace Media folder. Go to the number of the callout title that you're using and drop down that folder. From here you can double click on the file that says text, and a text edit box will appear. Type in the text that you want to appear on your callout title. Now, go back to your original sequence and you should see the new text appear. Great, this is starting to look awesome. But with the callout title pack that we have, we can put an image for even more impact. So let's do that next. Go back to the replace media folder and the callout number that you're using. Now double click on the image sequence. Drag and drop the image that you want to use for your callout title and position it within the borders of the composition. Try and make it as centered as possible, unless you have a specific reason not to. Go back to your original sequence and take a look. There it is, you've made an awesome callout title. But before we end this off, I'm just going to show you quickly how to change some finer details if you get adventurous. If you want to change the direction of where your callout title is pointing, double clip on the sequence clip. From here you should see three layers, callout title, line, and circle animation. To change where your new line stems out from, go to the line layer and change either the rotation or position to choose your new look. Now go to the circle animation and use the position sliders to line it up with the bottom end of the line. Finally, go back to your normal sequence and fine tune where your new callout title stems from. Lastly, if you want to change colors, like the color around the box, the background, or the circle animation, go to the third box titled Other. Under the folder called Solids, double clicking will allow you to change that particular aspect of your callout titles. And this will impact all of your callout titles. And there you go, you've made some awesome callout titles to enhance your production value. Keep in mind that every template pack is unique, and yours may look and behave differently. All of the basic principles can be carried over to different templates, but you may have to do some experimentation to see what works best for your template. If you've never downloaded any of these callout titles, Motion Array has a wide selection for you to choose from. Feel free to check them out. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.